When it comes to living the American dream, home ownership is what most people aspire to. But right now, more and more people feel like they're living through an American nightmare. As the economy continues to recover after a devastating pandemic and ensuing inflation, housing costs are putting a real damper on some young people's lifestyles. Here's Mid Michigan Now's Mike Wolfolk in depth. I paid like $5.45 a month, which was doable for a one bed, one bath. It wasn't like a super nice apartment, but it was nice enough. Blair Senko describes the apartment she used to rent. The young 20-something would love to achieve the so-called American dream and own a house like the ones in the neighborhood where we met. But that's hard for her to even imagine right now. So I was living paycheck to paycheck, and I was just like having constant panic attacks, like, oh my God, can I afford to even go get groceries this week? Yet on her then $10 an hour wage as a third shift caregiver, it was difficult making ends meet. She's not alone. A recent Lending Club report indicates 62% of adults say they live paycheck to paycheck. So sure, it's really irritating to see grocery prices high. Um, you can't get away from paying the grocery bill, food's a necessity. But groceries are a large share of the consumer's budget, but it's a much smaller share than, say, housing. And University of Michigan Flint economics professor Chris Douglas says housing is at a record unaffordable level right now. Those looking to buy find it challenging. I just want a house someday. I want to buy what I grew up in. But at her current pay, $14 an hour, working 35 hours a week, Sanko sees that as a pipe dream. Like I have just enough to have some spending money, but not enough to go rent anywhere, even with maybe two other people. Like it would, it would be too much. So consumers who are in the market for a house are facing both record house prices and substantially higher mortgage interest rates compared to just a few years ago. Douglas doesn't see that changing in the near future. The Consumer Price Index report for February showed inflation still running hot at 3.2% over last year. If inflation remains elevated above what people might have expected at the end of 2023, that's going to make it less likely for the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates. Consider this comparison. In January 2021, you could buy a $300,000 house with a 30-year fixed mortgage at 2.95%. With taxes and fees included, that worked out to just over $1,400 a month. Fast forward to today, with the current 7.51% rate, and that monthly payment jumps to nearly 2100 As a result, Chris Douglas says many 20-somethings are moving back in with their parents. That's certainly not ideal, but if a housing market is really inflated, that might be your best alternative so you can start saving money to make a down payment on a house. There has been much talk in the financial world about potential interest rate cuts this year, with some analysts calling for up to six. But with inflation not back to the target 2%, some predict as few as two or three. And that's a big maybe. Mike Wolfolk, Mid-Michigan Now.